So the final race of the day is my third novice hurdle of the day. It's the Sefton novice hurdle, three miles this time though. And it's a grade one, and the top one is Ghost Rider, Leon van Rensburg. Little Rockefeller, Ghost Zapper, Villa de la Plata, Paul Rhodes, Oaks, The Conclusion, Joshua Sutherland, Hart, Has I Wish, Molly at Surfer, and The Cone, David Robertson. So just six in this then. There's a definite lack of three more novices this season. Well, that's something to look at for next season, whether when you're putting your stables together to get a with three more novices in, we'll probably go the other way next season as they take the first, and we'll probably end up having too many. And it's Little Rockefeller who is going to be the early leader, it would seem. They've already taken the first flight and making their way down the straight, and they'll be passing the winning post shortly. And there we go, and we see them from the top of the stand. It's raining again. And they'll swing left handed now, and a pretty sharp bend. Still got two circuits of this entry track to go, so a long way to go. A lot can happen, and just six of the minute. Uh, fortunately, with it being a hurdle, we probably won't lose too many falls wise. Actually, won't lose any. And it's little Rockefeller who's trying to do what his namesake did at Goodwood earlier in the week and slip the field and get away and win. Little Rockefeller from the cone. And Villa de la Plata is third. Hart has a wish fourth. And eights the conclusion is after that one. And Ghost Rider, the ghostly grey, is the bat marker. And little Rockefeller then by six. As they get to the second. We'll safely over that one. Pacing down towards the next then. Little Rockefeller's a clear leader. The cone is second. Skip over that one. We're over okay with Ghost Rider, just a back marker, but keeping everybody in there in his sights. And a long, long way to go yet. So they take number four. And we'll save over that one. A little Rockefeller eight lengths clear. So the season's coming to a close then. This is the final three weeks, day one of the final three weeks. Grand National Day tomorrow already. Seems to have come around really quick this time. Everybody's had a successful season and is. Uh, Geared up ready for another one later in the year as they skip over number five. Two people might be getting a little bit jaded, it would seem, from some of the comments, but I'm sure the enthusiasm will be back once the autumn evening start to draw in and back enthused about it all again. I don't know where the jockey cam in now on the back of Villa de la Plata. View of Little Rockefeller and not much else as they come down towards the next then. And you can see there then Little Rockefeller's lead probably down to a length and a half now. Indeed it is. As the field are much more closely grouped than they were previously as they take that one. And Little Rockefeller's in the lead by a couple of lengths to Villa La Plata second. Oh, that's a wish third then the comb. And the Grey Ghost Rider as we take a look from the roof of the stand, or well, the top level of the stand anyway, not quite on the roof. So we pass the winning post of the water jump of the Grand National, which is, of course, has already been used today, of course, with well, exciting races with Stu earlier. And little Rockefeller leads by about a length to Villa de la Plata second. So John Morgan, Ghost Zapper, Hilltop. Whatever you want to call him this week in the lead. Oh, Paul Rhodes in second. And then Holger Molly at Surfer is third. David Robertson is in fourth. And then the back two are Joshua Sutherland and the grey of Leon van Rensburg. And it looks like we're losing eight to conclusion. So Joshua Sutherland's horse is being pulled up. And the pull ups continue to baffle everybody as to why they happen. There didn't appear to be anything wrong with the way that horse was going at all. Pace hasn't been hot, not been making mistakes. Still the best part of a mile to go, and they take number eight. And little Rockefeller has been in the lead all the way. Villa de la Plata, poised, ready to pounce though it would seem. Looks to be going the better of the two as they take the ninth. And Hart has a wish in the cone, and Ghost Rider has been near the back on the front all the way around. Six furlongs to go, and this is the tenth. 
And a little Rockefeller landed in front from Villa de la Plata, Heart as I wish in the cone. I think Ghost Rider may have just about given up the Ghost and is probably going to finish fifth. It's little Rockefeller, Villa de la Plata, Heart as I wish in the cone. As they swing towards home, then they've got another three flights still to take. Still got to turn into the straight yet. This is the third last. And little Rockefeller in front. And the Plata doesn't appear to be going as well as he was a minute ago now. The cone looks to be the main challenge to the leader. Hart has a wish he's back in fourth. And you can just see the shadow of Ghost Rider. And they are now into the straight with three furlongs just under three to go and little Rockefeller from the cone the cone is now looming up on the outside and the cone pokes his head in front and the cone has overtaken little Rockefeller little ro 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 <laughs> little Rockefeller you for the first time as they take the second last and the cone on the outside of little Rockefeller then comes Villa de la Plata and Hart as I wish suddenly we're going to get a race on and it looks like we might get a bunch finish and then come to the final flight the cone lands in the lead little Rockefeller now starts to fight back Hart as I wish he's trying to run on but the cone looks strong Racing into the final half, Furlong, and it's the cone by a length. The cone from Little Rockefeller on the outside, Hart as I wish, but the cone looks like he's going to take it up towards the line. It's the cone that's going to take that final race today. The cone just hangs on and takes it from Little Rockefeller. Hart as I wish, finished like a train. Villa de la Plata was next, and the Ghost Rider was the last one to finish. So, two happy faces there must have backed the winner. And as you can see, Jockey was a little bit cool, wasn't he? Wouldn't have been quite so cool if he'd have got caught, but the cone takes it for David Robertson, 25 to 1 winner on the, uh, the last race of the day. Little Rockefeller for Ghost Zappa was second, hard as I wish Molly had served for third. Fourth was Villa de la Plata, Paul Rhodes, Ghost Rider for Leon van Rensburg was fifth, and we'll be back tomorrow with the Grand National.